kill a woman caught in the very act of adultery in order because their God told them to. In order to make a point that people are sinners. <coughs> and whose fault is that? Is it the lowly mortals who just go about their lives, or is it the all-powerful deity who knows everything and decided, oh, I know in advance everything that's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and let, you know, this evil talking snake into paradise to trick people into eating from some forbidden fruit that I hate, but for whatever reason put in a perfect paradise. God sounds kind of crazier than Lord Sheagorath. All of us, we're sinners. There's none good, no, not one. I'm, I'm quite aware of my own sin. It's a prerequisite for being a Christian, is recognizing I'm a sinner. I recognize Sean's a sinner. No one's perfect. I recognize that. That's why I cling to Jesus Christ as my Savior. I'm not standing here boasting about my greatness, my holiness, my righteousness. There is only one righteous, there's only one good, and that's Jesus Christ. And his death on the cross had significance. For all well, so did the death of Horus when he died on the cross for all the Egyptian people. And so did Mithra's death when he died on the cross for the Persian people. Those in the past, and all those in the future, and all those right now in the present. Exactly the way it said in the pagan traditions that came before Christianity that Christianity Brock lollied. I've embraced Jesus as my Savior because that is the key here. There is no other salvation given amongst men whereby we can be saved except Jesus Christ. So God's a total dick and decided anyone who doesn't have the ability to learn about this Jesus fellow is going to be screwed. So all those tribes in the Amazon that almost never see people outside of their own tribe are just completely screwed. That sounds like a peachy fellow to worship. So he who is without sin amongst you cast the first stone. And as far as I can tell, there is nobody on the internet that is sinless. I'm sorry it's come to this. I really am. But if you want me to cast stones at my brother at this low point in his life, you're not going to see it. We don't want you to berate the guy. We just want you to stop defending him like he shits gold covered candy bars. You said he's not perfect, and yet you defend everything he does with such zeal, it's maddening. He committed perjury. He fraudulently claimed uh, other people's work was his own because he didn't like what it said about him. If it was slanderous or libel, he could have done something else. Not file the DMCA, but he would have had the right to do something else. But that's not what he did. He just went, oh, I don't like that. So, here we go. I'll say this is my own, get it taken down, find out what their name is, where their address is, tell the police they're a pedophile. Sean's a douche. Jesus is right. It took you forever to formulate that thought. Oh, sweet zombie Jesus. Turned to that woman and said, Woman, where are your accusers? Because they were all convicted of their own wickedness. And they dropped their stones and left. And she said, I have none, Lord. And he told the woman, Get up and go her way and sin no more. 
Well, that's kind of retarded since everyone's supposed to be a sinner. I mean, it's a pretty douchey move to give someone instructions and laws they can't possibly keep.